Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you're doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Manyetta Shaw, Crystal Smith, and Neo situation. So if you guys don't know, for the past four years, there's been this whole social media, you know, thing where anytime Crystal posts anything or fucking breathes, people are like, you fucking homewrecker, you whore, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you and your kids. People just attack Crystal Smith all the damn time, okay? And they're doing this on behalf of Manyetta Shaw who was initially Neo's first wife, okay? They got married, they had two children together, they end up getting divorced, and Neo is with Crystal, okay? So now they decided to go on to the real, and they're basically explaining their side of the situation, and Monietta is saying that, you know, Crystal was not the home wrecker, and she's basically setting the record straight. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this interview, check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. You guys, you were broken up for well over a year, is that the story? Yeah, it was going into a year, mm. but I think what confused everybody, we were still cohabitating, you know, mm. we still lived in the same house, mm. um, oh. even though he was on the road a lot, so we didn't really feel it. So I think the world got confused. Yeah, okay. but so see, you yes. clarify that. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. That's, you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. This is serious business, raising kids. Oh, and yes. they're taking yes. it very seriously. I mean, absolutely. this is the woman that's gonna be in the yes. house with her child. Right. Of yeah. course you're gonna tell her course, and ask yeah. her permission there you go. and discuss so with brave. each other. Yeah. So great. Now, how did you deal with the confusion, Crystal, at the time? Um, I think it was the timing she was on a show. Um, her show had just came out around the time we just got together. Got so I think the confusion was the timing. Yes, got that it. it was happening you know, in real time. But it exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like, it hurt, yeah, you know? Sure. Because you it's like, I have morals, I have standards, and I would never do anything like yes. that. So it hurt, but at the same time, like, you know, you, you fight for love, and yeah. you do what you have to do, and like, yeah. then this became family, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter the disrespect that I get from the world as long as I'm my happy, my family's happy. That's you know? right. That. Yeah. Okay, now, Moneta, in your first book, you were very honest, and you actually divulged the fact that you had actually gotten your tubes tied. Mm. So now looking back, would you do anything differently um, honestly, if I would have seen the end result, I'm human, I would have done some things differently. However, this is my story, and I'm, you know, the sacrifice to help so many women and men out there, and it's reversible. There you go. God okay. is good, yeah. and I have the best doctor. He actually um, travels around the world to show other doctors how to perform this test, so, yeah. Would so. you consider having more children? Um, yes, if my husband wants to, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we, we should get have there. Your husband. But Honey. All right, so you guys just heard that interview. You guys heard what they all had to say. And in my personal opinion, I'm not buying none of this bullshit, okay? First and foremost, if this was a lie, why did it take four years for you guys to basically come up with this story and show a united front? If Crystal did nothing wrong, then for you to allow that lie to perpetuate for four years while this woman has been attacked nonstop, that just shows how much of a shitty person Monietta is, okay? And that's just me being all the way real. Because I watched that ex-wives show, I forgot, I don't know if it was called Hollywood Wives or Atlanta Ex-wives, it was some bullshit show with a bunch of exes. I remember Tori Hart was on there as well. And her whole storyline, Monietta shot storyline was how Neo cheated, how Crystal was the other woman, how, you know, he forced her to cut her tubes and burn them and everything else, and now she could never have children. She based her whole reputation, she, you know, she played into the sympathy card all of this just for a storyline on reality television. And now that that storyline has come back to bite them all in the ass, now the sudden they want to clear the air. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why they're speaking out now is because Neo's reputation has been shot to hell, okay? Neo's not making money like that. I'm not saying he's broke and he's living in a soup kitchen. I'm not saying that. But his reputation has been shot to hell. Nobody's fucking with Neo all like that in the industry. Fans are not trying to buy his music. Nobody's fucking with Crystal like that because, you know, the reputation that Monietta spun about Neo and Crystal. And my thing is, if she knew this was a lie, if she knew that this was not the truth, then she should have came out and cleared it up 
years ago. You don't wait four years now that the money's drying up and the checks ain't coming in like they usually do. And you know that if his checks stop, that's going to affect your child support. I don't know if she's getting any spousal support, but that's going to affect all of that if he's not able to keep making money. And I feel like because he's not able to make what he was making before all of this mess started is why they're now trying to show United Front. And I'm not buying this shit, nor do I respect it. Because like I said, for a whole season, this woman cried about her twos being tied and basically her being forced to do it because of Neo. And I called bullshit way back then because at the end of the day, that's your decision. No man can force you to tie your tubes. You decided to do that shit. And then how's he going to force you to tie your tubes, but yet and still he doesn't get a vasectomy? If I'm tying my tubes, you're getting a vasectomy. We're both going to be out here, you know what I'm saying, with only two damn kids. Point blank period. So her, her story never panned out to me when she kept spinning that narrative. I always felt like she was just looking, she was just looking for attention. You know what I'm saying? She was just looking for a storyline. And then I remember a few years ago, Neo tried to clear the air on social media. He went off because when it was announced that Crystal was pregnant, of course, the trolls were just attacking this woman and wishing her death and wishing the child death and just all types of evil stuff. And Neo came out back then and said that he never made Magneta tie her tubes and that that was a lie and that's not what happened. But the whole time, Magneta just sat back silently. Crystal Renee, now the couple announced this weekend that they are expecting their first child together, but they face a lot of backlash, and it's because fans are very, they kind of miss his ex, Magneta Shaw, who's familiar to many people in the public because she was on the Atlanta X's reality show. Now, a lot of people were sympathetic for her because on that show, she revealed she'd had her tubes burned and couldn't have any more children, all because Neo didn't want any more kids. So here we have Neo having more kids, even after people have heard this story. Neo had to take the social media to clear the air because the backlash got really ugly for him and Crystal Renee. Now he took to both Twitter and Instagram and basically what he had to say is, he's not here for the haters, he only wants to hear from the congratulators. He added on Twitter that Magneta's procedure is actually reversible. We don't know about that. Now Magneta has chimed in, she posted a message that said classy but hurt. She didn't say anything, she didn't have his back, she didn't try and say, you know what, it's, you know, you're right, he didn't make me, it was my decision, he didn't cheat with her, y'all leave her alone. This woman has sat by and watched this other woman be attacked unfairly for years, and now the son, all y'all want to show United Front, now the son, all y'all's cool, I call bullshit, okay? If they're able to co-parent, you know what I'm saying, and be there for each other's children, and you know, be positive in each other's lives, then God bless them, but what you're not gonna do is insult my intelligence, okay? Like I said, what they're not gonna do is insult my intelligence. Now, y'all know I don't ever forget shit, okay? I watch everything that goes on on social media. I may not do a video about it, but I damn sure sip tea. Now, two years ago, this was just in 2016. Mr. and Miss, we all get along. We all cool in this bitch. Now, just two years ago, they got into it because Magneta Shaw, she went on to Bossip and she basically did a podcast with Bossip where she was spilling all the tea and she was saying that she had occasionally engaged in threesomes, you know, to basically keep Neo and she regrets all the things that she did in the bedroom. Room. So, of course, Crystal Rainey being, you know, Neo's new wife, she kind of felt some type of way like, okay, if you're over, you know, your ex-husband, why don't you stop talking about him? Why are you constantly bringing him up? Why are you not talking about your best life? So, basically, Crystal took the Snapchat and she, she started playing some music and she captioned her Snapchat, now you want to confess, girl, bye. So, then after Crystal did that, Magneta jumped onto her Snapchat and then basically she played, why are you so obsessed with me? This was just two years ago. So if everything is water under their bridge and she didn't cheat and she's not the other woman and there's no beef there, then why was this cattiness being displayed on Snapchat less than two years ago? But now fast forward to 2018, like I said, not that the checks are running low, not that the shit's running dry and nobody's checking for Crystal, nobody's checking for Neo, and reality TV did nothing for Mayetta's career, okay? Um, nobody's checking for her on television, nobody's really buying her book. Now all of a sudden they're all doing this whole united front. Anyways, go ahead and check out the video. They're back and forth. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the low for a fatty fuck. I'm so fatty love. But baby, who you need? It must be the weed. It must be the E. Could you be popping her? But what you're not going to do is insult my intelligence, okay? Because like I said for years, Magneta watched this girl be attacked all over social media, drug, her reputation ruined. I didn't know who the hell Crystal Smith was until this entire situation. But when you hear her name, you always think gold digger, homewrecker, 
poor Maya to tie her tubes only for Crystal to have two more babies by Neo. That's what you think when you first think about, you know, Crystal Smith. So for you to allow that lie to be told on another woman, I don't respect that. I don't respect that at all. And I feel bad for Crystal because a lot of times once you get stamped with that label of homewrecker, People don't fuck with you. Y'all see what done happened to Alicia Keys? She tried to do the same stunt. You know, she was a side chick. You know, you had Mashonda crying all over, you know, reality television, trying to make a storyline, putting all their business out there about how Alicia Keys was a side chick. She cheated. She knew that, you know, her and Swiss were married and all this other stuff. And then fast forward six years later, these people want to write books and make fucking songs top my blended family. No, you're not going to pull the okie doke on us. You're not going to spend one narrative when it's convenient for y'all. But then when the fucking checks are drying up and nobody's checking for y'all then y'all want to come up and show united front mashonda swiss beats and alicia keys are doing the same shit and that's why people don't really rock with alicia keys like they used to before this whole cheating scandal because again to the public when you get labeled a home wrecker and a side piece that just turns a lot of people off and poor crystal if she was not the home wrecker and she was not a side piece it was not cool for Manetta to basically you know what i'm saying spin that narrative if it wasn't true so in my personal opinion they can go on every talk show doing a whole blended family whole tour like Swiss Beats, Alicia Keys, and Mashonda, I'm not buying none of this bullshit. And Crystal's a good one because I be trying to whoop her ass for trying to ruin my reputation and spin this narrative that's not damn true, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Monetta Shaw, Crystal Smith, and Neo, are y'all buying this whole story about, you know, how everything was false and it wasn't true and now they're all good and people need to stop attacking Crystal? But meanwhile, for four years, my Yetta sat by and watched folks attack this woman, you know what I'm saying, and said nothing. But now that the checks are drying up, now everybody's trying to show United Front. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.